Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out the videos. Today we're going to be doing a head-to-head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head -to -head video comparing BattleBox to Spec Ops Global to Hunt Vault to Valor Blocks. These are four monthly subscription boxes that you can get and we're going to compare them and see what we think. So just a quick note here before we get looking into the actual boxes at the gear. The purpose of this video is not to go into great detail on every single item in every single box. That would just take a really long time, and I think you as the viewer would probably get bored after a while, and I don't blame you because I think I'd get bored too. So instead, we're kind of going up to that 50,000 foot level to look down and to think about what's available for subscription boxes, what are the different styles or genres of the subscription boxes, and then also, uh, what are you willing to pay for the different you know gear that you would get? What's a good investment for you? What's not a good investment? How much would you pay before you say, ah, that's just too much. I just want to go buy the gear on my own. So we're kind of doing a high level look down into the different options out there so that you can see what's actually available. And at the end of the video, I'm going to offer you some reflections having worked with these different companies for quite a few months to let you know what I think about kind of the overall approach that each company has. Let's start off with the battle box here. Uh, as you can see, we've got 25, 50, 100, and 150. So the more money you pay, the more gear you're obviously going to get. Let me work through the basic level here. First thing is the Frog Togs Adult Poncho, which is right there. Let's see, do I have a size here? One size, green. So that's the uh, the first item at the basic level. Duke Cannon tap Tactical Lip Balm. Is that what they're calling it? Tactical Lip Balm. So there's that. Uh, five Star Gear Shemag right here. I love a good Shemag scarf. That's a cool color too, that kind of gray and that dark gray. So that's cool. That's your third item. Joshua Tree Winter Face Stick. This looks like sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen and to help with wind protection. And then you have Otter Wax Heavy Duty Fabric Wax. and That's to seal uh, gear up. And then you have the Ready Man Basic Subscription Renewal Free. That's a $10 value. So that's at your basic level. Going up to the advanced level, which is 50 bucks. You have the Endura Cool Bucket Hat, which is this right here. Camo Bucket Hat. So that's the first thing at the advanced level. And then you have the Yak Tracks. Where are they? Right here. Walk Traction Cleats. So yeah, throw these on the bottom of your shoes, and it's easier to walk in icy weather. At the pro level, we have the Waterproof Socks, which anytime something says waterproof and it's not made of rubber, I'm always skeptical, but we'll give these a shot. Certainly check them out and see what we think. I'm actually doing a survival outing in uh, like two or three days, so maybe I'll try these for that outing. And then next up we have after that, let's see, we have a hideaway waterproof jacket, which is this. And I noticed they sent a code as well. Let me uh, find the picture here so you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, right here. So there's the, there's the picture right there of the waterproof jacket, and then they send you a code. So if you want to... Um, if you want to get a different size, then you can do that. They put a letter actually in the beginning of this month with some information about that. So that's the next item at the pro level. You also get a ready man subscription for the premium level. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. And then we have the SOG Kiku here, which is a folding knife. I think I, I, think I actually own one of these already. That is a big knife. That's a large. Yeah, I got one of these, but anyhow, yeah, just a beautiful knife. Cool, big, hefty, cool blade design. Yeah, so that is all the way up to the pro level for 150 bucks. That's what you're getting. And then I always throw a couple ads in here, some extra information, 40% off. So that's Battle Box. Next up here, we have Spec Ops Global. Same prices, 25, 50, 100 bucks, and 150 for your four different levels. So first uh, level is Junior ROTC. You're gonna get a mag pouch, the pack strap, and the clash hook. So this is your mag pouch, SAG gear. This is a Polish company, and very, it is very thin and streamlined. You could certainly throw other gear in there as well. You got your pack straps, and then your clash hooks all together. So the clash hooks are made by ITW in the USA, and then your straps. Both of these are to attach more gear to a pack or a load bearing vest. So this is one item, you know, obviously run that through molly webbing, and then this is, you could run, using the strap, run the, the um, clash hooks, and then you can attach more gear, you know, right in front, hanging off your chest, or if you want to, you know, strap it on the back of your pack, whatever it is. So that's your first three items. And that's all at the junior ROTC level. Let's flip this over. At the new recruit level, you get the utility pouch, 
which is this zipper on front, hook and loop there, some molly on the back, some D rings. Open it up inside, lots of organization. I think this is going to become my fire kit because I don't have a kit that I'm using for a fire kit right now. Obviously, made in Ukraine from UTAC, lots of ways to organize your gear inside, bungees, different sizes. So that's your first item, or your only item, I would say, at the new recruit level. At your season non-com level, you're going to get the, what's this called? This is the belt. This is the bayonet belt. Bayonet is the company. So heavy duty. Nice, huge buckle. Right? I think this is big. And yeah, it's like a heavy duty plastic. Looks like very, very durable. You can just tell by looking at it. Um, yeah, they don't have any information on the card as far as what the weight, you know, what the weight level is, but they do say the Bayonet Belt Company in Poland hand assembles each of their Polish warehouse or po each belt in their Polish warehouse, providing belts for the Polish Parliament Guards, French Special Operations, Portuguese Special Operations. So that's cool. Nice belt. Uh, and then that's at the, let's see, that's the season non-com level. And then also at the season non-com level is the combat belt. Here's the combat belt. This is made by a company. I believe it's called Stitch Profi. It's probably not how you pronounce it, but um, yeah. So you're gonna run. Let's see. This belt, you know, under here, and then you can wear this around your waist and put all kinds of gear around there. It's got options to attach things with the D rings there, and then your last item right here. So here's your load bearing vest, and obviously you can take this and attach it to your combat belt and yeah so you got a whole setup here between that that this your mag pouch you can throw this pouch on there as well i mean you can see a, a whole system kind of being built together there um yeah so that's what the front looks like breathable there back with all kinds of straps and this is uh a russian built pro um, product as well all right, next up here we have Hunt Vault. And right now it's 40 bucks if you order it month to month. If you order it a couple months in advance, you'll save a little more, you know, even more in advance, like a whole year, you'll save a little bit more cash. Um, these run $40 a month, but you can see here, the Hunt Vault Elite is coming through and that's gonna be 160. And obviously you're gonna get more gear, more items, um, paying more money. So let's go to this uh, number one. The first item is your Tree Spider Vertical Climbing Belt, which is this right here. Obviously if you're up on a tree stand, this is gonna help you adventure up. And so this is basically made, uh, if you've seen the other Hunt Vault uh, reviews I've done, you can build systems out of what they actually, uh, they send to you. So um, I've got a couple other items from Tree Spider as well that they've made. So that's your first item. And they just note here, see the description. Designed to keep you safe while you ascend and descend the tree functions like alignments belt and works conveniently with safety harnesses. Vest also features two steel carabiners right there in the box. Hunter Specialties Storage Utility Strap. That's the second item. Let's see if we can find that here. Let's see what that guy is. Storage Utility Strap. So, let's read the official description here, right? Uh, this compact storage reel is the easy way to hand pull heavy loads. Reels in 25 feet of tangle for your webbing neatly. Lightweight and strength rated for up to 50 pounds. So that's to get gear up into your, uh, up into your tree stand. Your third item is gonna be Adventure Game Calls Mini Deer Bleat. It's actually funny, when I was moving the box around, this thing, moving the box around, and it was making noise, and I was like, what the heck is that sound? So this is a deer bleat. So that's Adventure Game Calls. That's the next item. Then we have Bug Blocker uh, Mosquito Spray, which right about now, this is my best friend, because I literally pulled a tick out of my back this morning. Great to have spray like this for clothing and gear. Don't apply it to your skin. This is to spray on your gear to keep the bugs away. So uses DEET to repel mosquitoes, may carry the Zika or West Nile virus, designed to repel black flies, gnats, chiggers, spiders, and ticks. So that's that. That's our next item. And then lastly, we have from Hunter's Specialties, your clip-on scent dispenser. And the description here, one of the easiest ways to use scents and lures, simply apply scent to wick and secure the metal clip to a branch. So yeah, use scents on this and then secure it to a branch to draw in your animal. So very simple. Um, like I said, you have, you're gonna have the option soon to do the elite box, but for 40 bucks, you're getting this gear right here from Hunt Vault. 
Last up here, we have Valor Blocks. You can see right here, this is the US Army version. So Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. It is basically gear around that particular branch of the military. And it's $34 a month. If you pay more in advance, you're gonna save a little bit more money. And um, yeah, so the concept is, you know, gear connected to that branch of the, uh, the military. So you see Navy, Marines, Air Force coming soon. I just checked their website and today is what, like the 22nd, I think maybe of May. And it looks like all these things, if they're not available right now, they will soon be available. So first item is, I'll show you this. The United States Army established 1775 t-shirt. I think they sent me a large, yeah, large. That's your first item there. Next thing we have is a PVC luggage tag that says U.S. Army. We've got a lapel pin that says U.S. Army, United States Army. We have three patches and with instructions on the back for how to, uh, looks like you heat up, you know, heat up the back of the, heat up the material and then, um, and then you're going to attach these on. So iron on patches or maybe you iron on the front one of those two ways. We got this, which is... like army jewelry I guess that's a challenge coin right US Army challenge coin doesn't say anything oh here we go let's see yeah challenge coin and then down in here we have oh it's a magnet that's what it is it's a magnet there so US Army magnet and that's everything in the uh, army valor blocks all right we've looked at all four of the boxes now let's talk about each one in a little bit more detail First off, Battle Box is going to go from 25 bucks up to 150 bucks. I feel like with Battle Box in particular, I've heard a lot of people say stuff like, if I'm going to spend 100 or 150 bucks, I'm going to pick out my own gear. I don't want to give somebody money to pick out gear. And if that's you, rock on. Totally get it. If I'm going to spend 150 bucks, I'm probably going to have my own gear that I am actually looking for that I want to purchase as opposed to sending it to somebody. Uh, subscription boxes in general are for people who have the money so that they don't mind getting the surprise or something unique and different that they weren't expecting every month. As far as the genre, uh, Battle Box is definitely survival, outdoor, tactical gear, camping, things kind of geared along those lines. Um, it's not like Valor Blocks, it's not like Spec Ops Global, and it's not like Hunt Vault, it's not really geared toward hunting. So yeah, survival, outdoor, bushcraft, tactical gear, camping, stuff like that, Battle Box is definitely geared in that direction. And again, 25 bucks up to 150, you got a pretty wide variety of what you're going to get across those different uh, across those different prices. Next up, we have Spec Ops Global. Uh, I'll definitely say that it's geared toward law enforcement, military, tactical applications. It's not geared toward bushcraft or outdoor, really survival things like that. So you know, if you want that outdoor stuff, you got to go with a different a different uh, brand or different box. If you do like the tactical, the law enforcement, the military, first responder, EMT, that type of stuff, then Spec Ops Global I think is a cool one to check out. Um, I will tell you that they definitely have the international flavor. I think in every single box you do get at least one item from the United States, but they purposely try to get items from all over the, all over the world. So I'm just thinking out loud here. I've gotten stuff from, I think, Japan, Korea, uh, South Africa, the UK, Poland, Ukraine, Russia. So really an international flavor to the gear uh, that you're going to get with them. Uh, because it has that um, international flavor, sometimes there's a mix and match of the different items, but I do find that they do a pretty good job with the themes. So if they're like, you know, it's medical or first responder, EMT, or, you know, like mountain warfare, something like that, even though they have different companies and um, uh, countries that are being represented, they, they do a good job tying those items together. So I've worked with them, I think I might have worked with them a little bit l shorter than I have with Battlebox. Um, but Tim over there from Spec Ops School, great guy, great customer service, really friendly, um, and they've been a lot of fun to work with. So I'm always excited to see what's the, a new piece of gear or you know new um, new themes that they come up with each month. So that's Spec Ops Global. Third up, we have Hunt Vault, and that's geared toward hunters. There are certainly outdoor applications, you know. So um, if it's like you know something for winter hunting, so you got a lot of th a lot of things to keep you warm. Yeah, if you're out hiking or doing bushcrafting, survival, you can use some of that gear, but it is definitely geared toward people who are into hunting, whether that's deer, turkey, you know, other things. Um, 
I like working with these guys. They are a family owned uh, company. They started off small and just got really popular, so much so that they're offering this new higher end box uh, in the near future. I'm like in the hunting world a little bit, but more in the outdoors world. Uh, but I've got a lot of friends who are into hunting, so I've been able to pass on gear to other people, which is nice to, you know, just share the wealth. And like someone's like, hey, I'm really into turkey hunting. I'm like, boom, here's a whole box, uh, you know, monthly box from Hunt Vault that's geared toward uh, turkey hunting. I like their stuff. I also like particularly working with them just because I, I love the, the fact that they're a family-owned company and that they're continuing to grow. And again, they're, they've they been really nice to work with. So uh, yeah, Hunt Vault, geared toward the hunter if you're into hunting and you know also have interest in the outdoors. I think they're gonna be a good one for you to check out. Last up, we have Valor Blocks. And the thing I'll say about them is um, you have to be into the specific branch of the military that you're ordering. Obviously, you know, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and then it does feel like it's kind of the marketing stuff. So if I was getting monthly boxes with just gear, 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 all from the Army, but I wasn't in the Army, um, I would, it, it would just feel like a ton of the same theme or the same, you know, the same branch that I was getting stuff from. If they mix it up every month, like one month you got Navy, next month you got Army, next month Marines, next month Air Force, something like that, I think that would probably work a little bit better for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you if you're ex-military, current military, and you've got that branch that you serve with, then maybe this is going to be something that would appeal to you. Uh, to be honest, the other three boxes, the Hunt Vault, the Spec Ops Global, and Battle Box, if I wasn't reviewing them and getting the items for review, would I cons consider subscribing to them? Those would definitely be the ones I would look at. The Valor Blocks, just not as uh, as big an interest to me um, as, as the other three. So, you know, that's got to fit, like I said, specifically into your genre that you're really into the military or one of those particular branches that you want to support and um, and that's obviously what they're geared toward all right that's it four different boxes four different subscription companies I've got links to all the different companies down below so if you want to check out battle box spec ops global hunt vault or valor blocks click that show more tab head down to the description and you can see more there uh, I'd love to hear your comments of these four boxes which one do you like the best and tell us why as well I'd love to hear your thoughts on why a certain box appeals to you or doesn't appeal to you and I will let you know um, specifically with Spec Ops Global and Hunt Vault, they check the videos and they'll read those comments and check them out and say, oh, that's something we should know or we could change or update or upgrade, do differently. So uh, your thoughts and your feedback is definitely helpful, particularly to those two. And um, Valor Blocks, I can't speak to. I don't know them particularly well. We'll see with Battle Box. I don't know if they check the videos out that much because uh, there's a lot of people out there doing videos on them. But nonetheless, those are the four boxes. Let's hear your comments. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on uh, YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.